Good morning, Motivation Team. Today is Sunday. Happy Sunday. I hope everybody had a great weekend. You know what I'm saying? The weekend is almost over. Monday is right around the corner. <sighs> I know, I know. We got to get back to work. I know, I know. But hey, y'all, if I ain't did it so already, tell your people you love them. Tell them good morning. Tell them come watch this word. Come watch me get y'all this word. You know what I'm saying? Come listen to this word that I'm about to get y'all today. And yeah, y'all, today is going to be a great day. But let's do a little rundown. Let's do a little rundown on what happened yesterday. All right, so yesterday we introduced Cain and Abel. Cain and Abel is Adam and Eve's sons. Now, Cain, he was the worker of the of the farm. He, he grounded the soil, made sure the seeds go into the soil and made sure that the, the fruits and stuff grow. And that's what he also had ate. And Abel, he was the one taking care of the sheep. And he was the one just making sure all the sheep were okay, making sure they eat. And Cain and Abel, they decided to give their offerings to the Lord. Cain brought up some fruit. Abel brought a baby lamb. The Lord gave respect to Abel, a lot of respect to Abel for bringing up the lamb. But when Cain brought up the brought up the fruit, Lord was like, appreciate it. Appreciate it. And now the reason why he did that is because I believe Cain was wasn't always a good person. Cain pick and chose when he was gonna be good. So and the Lord told him, Why should I give you as much pick as I gave your brother who was always good when when you are sometimes, like, when, when you own and all, pick and choose when you want to be good. So, Cain said, all right, bet it's cool. Cain had an attitude. Cain had a big attitude. He was really jealous about that. So, Cain took up, took matters to his own hands, got his brother out of there. He got his brother clean up out of there. And he came back in front of God and said, and God was like, where your brother at? He was like, I don't know. Am I supposed to be his keeper or something? And God was like, I hear his blood crying to me from under the earth. And Cain was like, so God was like, since you murdered your brother, I'm going to have to curse you. And his curse was to that no more fruit was going to grow on the land, but he still got to work. He still got to crop. Still got to go find some. But nothing was going to grow for him. And he was like, I can't do that. That's going to be too hard for me to... He said it's going to be too hard for him to bear. He He's not going to be able to um, to work like that. He ain't he, he ain't gonna be able to eat like that because, shoot, that's what he eat as he working. You know what I'm saying? He growing fruit. That's the food. So he was like, it's going to be too hard for me to bear. And also, with him just wandering around, somebody going to kill him. And God was like, no, whoa, nah. Ain't nobody going to touch you. Because whoever touches you and tries to kill you, their curse is going to be seven times worse than what what I gave you. So he put a he put like a little a little a little pizzazz over his life that if anybody was to touch him, uh, his vengeance is going to be onto them. So yep, that's what we ended off yesterday. So now we into today, and y'all, I want to go ahead and tell y'all, put your seat belts on. Go on, grab your notepad. If you're taking notes, grab your notepad. I'm not gonna lie. I'm finna go through a lot of names in this in this, in today's video. Y'all ready? So after Cain left the Lord, went back to his home where his wife was at, back in Nod, uh, east from Eden. His wife was pregnant. Alright. So his wife was pregnant. And she and they had a son named Enoch. He named the city that he had built Cain. He named the city that he had built after his son Enoch. And that, that was he, he named the city. Now a family tree is beginning. Enoch had Erod. Erod had Mehujel. Mehujel had Methusiel. And Methusiel had Lamech. Lamech had two wives. My guy was today. That would be in today's world having two wives would be 
glorified. It's crazy, but it would be glorified. You know what I'm saying? So he had two wives, Adah and Zillah. Adah had Jabal. He was the caretaker of farming. He he took care of the of the farm. Just like Cain, he took care of the farm. He he also did what Cain did. And he lived in tents. His brother Jabal was over the harps and organs and instruments. He was over all things just like that. And Zillah, Lamech's wife, she had a son named Tubal Cain. Tubal Cain. And he was he made brass and he made he made tools out of brass and iron. That's what he did. He made tools out of brass and iron. Tubal Cain had a sister named Nama. Lamech told his wives, come here, come here. I need y'all to listen to me. I killed a man because he hurt me, and I killed a young man because he injured me. Now, if Cain shall be avenged seven times, then I should have the same. I should have the same treatment. I should have to be avenged even even seventy times worse. So yes, y'all, Lamech killed Cain. I don't know who else he killed, but I know he killed Cain. So. Fast forward, Adam, we back on Adam. Adam wasn't done having children. You know what I'm saying? Adam was not done having kids. He had one more. His name was Seth. And he brought Seth upon and said, God has blessed me with another child since Cain took away my Abel. Now they have Seth. And Seth had a child named Enos. Or Enos, see? Y'all hear me out right there. I don't know if it's Enos or Enos. So, if anybody knows, let me know. You know what I'm saying? Just spell it out for me in the comments. Put some, put some syllables or whatever. Now, put your seatbelt on again, y'all. Put your seat, just strap up again. I'm reading straight from my notes right here. Straight from my notes, y'all. Right here, it's some. We finna go through a. We finna go through a whole timeline right here. Adam lived to 130 years. They had Seth. A hundred years later, Seth had his own children, his own sons and daughters. Then Adam passed away at 930. At 105 years old, Seth had Enos. 807 years later, Enos had his own sons and daughters. Then Seth passed away at 912 years old. Enos lived for 90 years, and had Canaan. Eno lived 815 years later. Canaan had his own children, and now Eno's passed away at 905. Canaan lived to 70 and had Mahalalil. 840 years later, Mahalalil had children, and Canaan passed away at 910. At 65, Mahalalil had Jared. 830 years later, Jared had children, and Mahalalil died at 895, 895 years old. Jared lived to 162 and had Enoch. He lived 800 years later. Enoch had children, and Jared passed away at 962. Now, Enoch lived to 65 years old and had Methus Methuselah. 300 years later, Enoch was been walking with God and Enoch was one of God's real close relationship. And Enoch passed away at 365. Methuselah lived to 187 years old and had Lamech. 872 years later, Lamech had children and Methuselah passed away at 969. Y'all still with me? All right, bet. All right. <laughs> I'm almost done with the timeline. Now, Lamech, at 182 years old, had a son named Noah. And they were saying, and Lamech had the, had the, Lamech had the goal of having the son named Noah as him being the start of something new. He was going to be the person 
He wanted Noah to be a hard worker. He wanted Noah to be the one to take the one to take weight off of his shoulders and off off of the people that that's older shoulders. So that's what he wanted for Noah to be. Some somebody they can they can just take the weight off of him. Take some slack and uh he was gonna take over. Now, I know some of us feel like we like we know us. Now, it ain't now me personally after what I read I wouldn't mind I wouldn't mind calling myself a Noah because I feel like I'm not saying that's what I was brought into this world to do but as of right now I feel as if that I'm the one that's trying to that's, that that's really trying my hardest to take the slack off of them like I'm I'm a hey, I'm really out here trying like I'm trying my best to become successful I want to be on the top so I can take some slack away like because what my parents did for me in the past, I want to just repay them a hundred times more. I want to repay all that. I want to repay my whole family for what, for everything, every cent, every dime, every time, every second they spend with me. I want to repay them all that. But I got to keep working. I got to keep going. All right. Off of me, back to Noah. All right. So Lamech lived 595 years later to see Noah have children. And he died at 777. Noah did turn 500 and had three children. Shem, Ham, and Jabel. Now, that was the timeline right there. All right, so as time goes by, men, you know what I'm saying, steady being fruitful and generous, steady multiplying. Of course, it wasn't just men being born. There was there were some women out there too now. Daughter started daughter started coming about. And as the daughter started coming about, and the sons of God, they started choosing their wives. They started choosing their wives. The spirit of God was, you know what I'm saying, it was starting to run down from the from the mortal's body. So their lives started their I I believe that's what it means. Their lifespan started lessening. To 120 years. As there were giants on the earth. Giants were having children with the women. And they were creating mighty soldiers. Real strong soldiers. So God started seeing. God started seeing and feeling in his heart. That in everybody else's heart. They had wicked intentions coming about. He started feeling the. Feeling the the bad energies. He's, like y'all know how y'all can walk in the room. And feel a bad vibe. And y'all just be like, ooh, I don't know if I want to be in here. That's how God felt. God, he felt it. He 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 read everybody's mind. Everybody had bad intentions, had weakness in their hearts. And he decided that he wanted to wipe out everyone. He decided he wanted to just, just clean the whole the whole earth, wipe everybody off of earth, and start all over. But Noah, y'all, Noah seen something in God's eyes. Noah seen something in him and God had a very close relationship. And he said Noah was perfect in his generation. Noah was the perfect one in his generation. He had three children. Sam, Ham, Shem, Ham, and Jabeth. And God, like I said, he looked over at earth again. He looked and seen how corrupt it was and how full of violence it was. And he just thought everyone was living in a corrupted way. So God told Noah... I want to put an end to this place. I want to I want to put an end to earth because it's filled with violence, filled with filled with hatred. I, he, he, I want to destroy all of it. He told Noah, go build an ark. Go build an ark full of tar and fill it into he said fill it from the inside out. Now God wasn't playing when he told Noah to go build his ark. God told him build it 300 cubits in length, 50 cubits in width, and 30 cubits in height. He put a window. He made it two to three stories tall. So after he told Noah how to build the ark, he said he was going to bring a flood of water to earth and destroy flesh and destroy everything that breathes water, that breathes air. Everything must go. Everything must get out of here. I don't want to hear no more. Now, he made sure Noah was going to be okay. He told Noah to go grab his family, go grab your Go grab your daughters, your sons, go grab your wives, go grab 
Make sure your do make sure your children grab their wives and you know what I'm saying? Make sure they grab their wives and all of that. And God made sure Noah was straight. So he also told him to bring two of everything. He told him to bring two of everything of his own kind. So he told him to bring two files of male and female. Go grab two sheep, male and female. Take food, take enough food for everybody to eat on. Take enough food for the animals to eat. Make sure everybody okay. Then God told Noah, it's time. Go into the ark. Go ahead and go into the ark. And that's where I'm going to end the video off. That's where I'm going to end it off at right there. Like I said, y'all. When I find out, y'all gonna find out. And I'm gonna hey, I'm gonna drop this video real. I'm gonna drop it. I'm gonna drop it, y'all. You know what I'm saying? But y'all, appreciate y'all for watching. Appreciate it for staying tuned in. I know it was a lot of names in the beginning of the episode. I said episode. Y'all, yeah, it just might as well be an episode. So y'all come watch me like TV. Hey. But yeah, like I said, I know it was a lot of names in the beginning. But hey, y'all, thank y'all for watching. Stay tuned. I'm gonna keep on going, y'all. This is the journey. This this is my journey, and I am I'm proud of myself. Proud of myself for the journey I'm on. I'm gonna keep going. Y'all be easy. Y'all stay prayed up. Don't forget to be grateful. 